Hi and welcome. Today is Wednesday, November 1st. How exciting. Yesterday was Halloween. It was very cold here last night. Uh, we've had a lot of um, stuff going on here. We've been pretty busy so I haven't done a video in a little bit. My It's Wednesday so my husband's supposed to be off today. His, he's a retail manager. His store is normally closed on Wednesdays, but the company, for some reason, wanted to be open today, so he had to go to work. Um, I got up this morning, and before I pretty much did anything, uh, dashed out and ran to Michael's and Joann's to hit their clearance. Um, so I do have a um, Halloween clearance haul to show off. I have a couple of pieces of mail that I'm just now getting. Um, I'm not sure which to which to tackle first. I have a feeling that this is going to come in, going to be broken down into two to two videos. I have my um, my this morning stuff out, so I'll just go ahead and do that um, first, I guess. Uh, <clears throat> I have to apologize. You're hearing some things in the background. I've got a space heater behind me going. I've got the dryer right on the other side of this wall running <laughs> and the dishwasher running over here to my left. <laughs> uh, we've had a crazy day of, a crazy couple of days of um, dealing with the aftermath of some pretty serious rainstorms here in New Hampshire where our road actually washed out and just got repaired yesterday but we were stranded for about 36 hours and flickering power and so on and so forth so I'm, I'm finally able to get out and do errands. Uh, I could last night but errands today and uh, get caught up on some housework that really needs to be done. So I really want to do my quick little hauls here so that I can put everything away because it's all piling up here and we really don't have the space to spare. I've got my coffee. I'm ready to go. It's about uh, 1050 a.m. I got home about half an hour ago. I had to tend to the pets and let the rabbit out and stuff first. Um, the first one I did find... Um, Technically, the second store I went to was Joanne's. I didn't find anything Halloween-y that I wanted um, in particular. But they do have, uh, mine anyway, had all the fall and Halloween stuff was 70% off. There wasn't much left that I didn't already go through, and I'm not sure if I showed it off or not. Um, but the last time I went to Joanne's, probably a week and a half ago, it was also on clearance, so I just grabbed some... Um, paper clips and and things like that just to hang on to for happy mails or next year or whatever so I actually grabbed those a while ago but uh, so Joanne's today this morning I went there second um, I went to Michael's first and one of the things that I had on my cart at Michael's was a bottle of glossy accents and when I and it said three the shelf tag said three ninety nine, and when I got to the register it was eight forty nine. And I just about passed out. <laughs> um, and I asked the woman to take it out. And she's like, are you sure? Because you can use your 50% off coupon on it. And I'm like, you know, I think I can get that for even cheaper than 50% off online. Um, so I put that back. And I'm not completely out of glossy accents. I do still have, I do still have some left. I have probably half an inch of glossy accents left in this bottle. But it's one of those things that, um... If you see it's a good price, you pick it up. And I thought it was three ninety nine, so I went to pick it up, and it didn't work out. So I was at Joanne's just looking around, and um, I found this, uh, the glossy accents in a bin, um, marked six ninety nine. I was like, well, that's a heck of a lot better than eight forty nine. And I had my, um, I had my two Joanne's coupons, three Joanne's coupons this morning. Uh, one of them was five dollars off an order of thirty five or more. But I knew pretty much upon walking in that I was not going to be spending close to thirty five dollars at Joanne's just because their selection was kind of meh. Um, and then I had a forty percent off one regular priced item, and then a thirty percent off all regular priced items coupons. So when I got to the register, I thought this would be thirty or forty. Uh, forty. I could use my forty percent off coupon, or it would count for the thirty percent off. But no, it was on clearance. <laughs> So it doesn't count at all. I was like, sweet, it's on clearance. It's even better. So this, uh, I think it's two ounce, yeah, two ounce bottle was three ninety seven on clearance. Uh, you can't beat that. That's a really good price. So I'm really happy to have found that. Unfortunately, this was the only one that was in the bin, uh, or I would have turned around and grabbed more, because you never know. Um, and the other, the only other thing I got at Joanne's was this roll of duct tape, kind of this nice galaxy pattern duct tape. Um, I have been making 
gifts for my husband. Um, every couple of years I make him a duct tape wallet and the last one has fallen apart so I'm going to need to make him a new duct tape wallet and he loves the he loves when I make um, galaxy um, get inked galaxy backgrounds for my cards. He really likes them so I thought he might like his own galaxy duct tape wallet. So and that was $4.99 regular price and my 40% off coupon counted for that so that was uh, $2 off so I got both things for $6.96 so really good deal. I'm pleased. Okay so I have a much bigger haul going on at Michael's here and I've got my my list. Unfortunately they don't show what the regular price is on the receipt and I don't know what the regular price was. Not everything was marked but I, I used the little scanny tool um, so I I think I kind of remember <laughs> on the few things that aren't marked. So Michael's is a big old bag, so let's delve in and grab some stuff. Um, so stuff from their um, Halloween clearance. All the Halloween was 80% off at Michael's. Even the like Halloween villages and stuff, and I thought those were really cute. If I was still doing eBay, I probably would have picked some up to hang on to to resell next year. But I'm trying to trying to cut back on eBay. Anyway. So wood stickers, glitter wood stickers, uh, $2.99, 80% off, which makes them like cheap or whatever. I think it was 59, 60 cents, something like that. Uh, $3.99 regular price, these foam cat stickers. These are not super Halloween-y, so I could use these at any point. We have a, a black tuxedo kitty, so I could use some, some crafts for him. Uh, more foam stickers. These are the sorts of things that I could make with the Cricut, but again, 80% uh, off $2.99. Why would I even bother turning on the Cricut <laughs> um, if I can buy something? And they've already got the adhesive on them, and boom. And these little um, gift tags that have little buttons on them, and I plan to, I will not bother until next year, but um, I plan to take the buttons off harvest the buttons from the rest and probably use the buttons in um, a Happy Mail or uh, pocket letters or something like that. Um, I got this stamp set, which I didn't realize it until I got into the car and was looking at my receipt. It's $2.99 regular price and it was in a bin, um, it was in a clearance bin that said it was like 40 or 50 additional percent off, so I'm not sure what's going on that but I guess it's not that big of a deal it's really cute um, I do um, I do plan I do have a planner but I do not um, mine is more uh, more utilized than than decorative I actually picked this up kind of a semi long story um, I doing a uh, secret Santa exchange in one of my craft groups and um, this one is for um, just a regular Chris a Christmas present for somebody that you that you mail to them and my person that I was assigned to be Secret Santa for did not fill out anything on the form other than her name and address <laughs> so there's no you know a lot of people will say what their favorite colors are or what their hobbies are or something and it's, it's a crafty group so you can you can I mean at least you have that to go on that the person might know something about crafts so anyway so she put nothing other than her name and address so i'm like oh damn it and of course it's on facebook so um i figured i'd facebook stalk her to see if i could figure it out and of course this poor woman is like the exact opposite of me uh you know just reading some of her facebook posts looking at her pictures she's very conservative very christian um very pro trump kind of uh kind of stuff so i'm like ah oh, i just i just can't relate <laughs> at all and have such a hard time buying a gift for this woman so I figured that um, she had a lot of Christian-y type posts I figure I would get her a Bible journaling kit because I see those um, on YouTube all the time and also um, I see them at craft stores so I didn't find a Bible journaling kit that I liked today they only had one it was really really expensive like three times more the the budget that's allowed for the the secret santa swap um and plus it was just not particularly attractive so i thought maybe i'd make her like a diy um bible kind of bible journaling thing i'm not i'm an atheist so <laughs> i'm not really sure <laughs> what kind of christian-y stuff to get but 
I figured that um, it's a thought that counts. Um, but this one is not particularly re religious. It's just a stamping uh, kit for a planner. So, um, so yeah. So I'll keep an eye out for something Bible journaling, plannery kind of thing. But I thought worst case scenario is I could just do like a, a D DIY one. Like I'll just get her a bunch of stuff and she can she can put it together herself. But um, <clears throat> so I figured that was a nice start towards that gift. This is really pretty. I love the rainbow. Okay, anyway, moving on. <laughs> I have to find a present for somebody that I can't relate to. <laughs> uh, more stickers. And what is this? Oh, okay, so um, washi tape. Um, and I actually like this washi tape on paper. Flat sheets, because I can just toss that in my drawer and it's not going to take up any space or be remotely inconvenient. I'm blind. I have to move my <laughs> be remotely inconvenient for a year. So that's cool. Uh, also, um, Recollections Halloween stamp and stencil sets. And I mostly picked these out for the little stencils because I thought they were cute. And they had three different ones, so I grabbed one of each. They were $9.99, so they were 80% off. So they were... They rang up as a dollar ninety nine on clearance, so it's a little. It looks like a two by four little stamp set, and not all of them are. You know, have to be Halloween. So like that moth would be cool for something, but I really like the little the little fun stencils. And again, it doesn't have to be used for Halloweeny stuff. Pretty cool. So then there's that one. I have tons of Halloween stamps, so I need more like I need a hole in the head, right? Okay, there's this clearance. But, you know, I figure the absolute worst case scenario, I'm obviously not going to be opening these up until next summer. Um, I could gift them or whatever, you know, if I find I need a, an emergency Halloween gift in February or whatever. Okay, so next up, um, these were regular price, just some Christmas stickers just to have on hand uh, for our Happy Meals and stuff coming up. They were only a dollar package and they were really cute so uh, can't go wrong and these were also a dollar a package when they were current but now they're clearance and 80% off so these stickers were 20 cents a package so I'm pretty pretty pleased about this score um, and these I have no idea who these characters are <laughs> no clue but hey it was 20 cents and they've got some little candies and stuff and I'm sure I can harvest some non halloween -y stuff out of here. Of course, everybody knows who Spider-Man is. My daughter will probably... She's never seen a Spider-Man movie, but she loves superheroes, so she'll probably steal that from me. And the last one. Okay, so a bunch of, bunch of stickers. 20 cents a piece. How can you go wrong with that? Okay, this... Um, oh, okay, so this Tim Holtz um, Ideology Cling Stamp Set, which is um, Halloween. I, I like Tim Holtz as much as the next person, but I rarely like to spend the money on Tim Holtz's name. <laughs> These stamps are pretty cool. This sort of drippy one in particular, um, I'll get a lot of use uh, from. Um, and plus these are foam stamps, so these might be really cool on the jelly plate. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, these were, I believe, $19.99 regular price, which I didn't know until I went to the price check skinny thingy and I almost had a heart attack when I saw it but it rang up 80% off I think it was oh maybe I'm getting it mixed up with something else $3.99 rang up as $3.99 so I figured that was a really good price <clears throat> so I'm really really excited about that find and this uh, spider's web is pretty neat too and a, and a kitty. I love kitties. And a little change purse with a monster on it. It didn't look very Halloween-y to me, but it was Halloween. It's like, sweet, can you really five dollars regular price for this? Oh my goodness. But it was a dollar. I don't know whether I'm going to keep it for me, because I love it, or a stocking stuffer for my daughter. Who knows? It's adorable. I couldn't leave it behind for a dollar. Um, oh, another uh, Sizzix uh, Tim Holtz thing that I found. It's a small embossing folder and some Halloween dies. This was, I believe it was 12 something regular price and I got it for $2.99 on clearance. 
so good price. Can't beat that. It, and this, these two, these Tim Holtz things were the only Tim Holtz things that I found. And this one wasn't even with the Halloween clearance stuff. It was like shoved on its side in like the, uh, the scrapbook paper packs in a completely different aisle. And I just was like, oh, what's that? And I pulled it out and I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't know if maybe somebody stashed it there on purpose like yesterday, knowing it would be 80% off today or whatnot. But haha, ha, I found it. That'll teach you for being a cheater. Okay, so the other reason why I had to go to Michael's is um, my sister, I'm doing a project for my sister. She has been seeing this young man for about a year. He's he's a nice guy. He's significantly younger than she is, um, which isn't that big of a deal to me anyway. But um, they've decided that they want to get married, and that's fine. This is what is the big deal for me. <laughs> this is what I have an issue with. They've decided to get married in January. <laughs> this is the part that I have a problem. So I don't know why anybody would not possibly wait. It's probably because she's over 35 and he's in his early 20s. They want to start having children. She has a, she has a child from her first marriage, my niece. Um, they want to start having children and she's, she's over 35. So she doesn't want... Um, she doesn't want to wait at this point, but it's like, oh, come on, January. <laughs> it's 2017. I was 2018. You don't even have to be married to start having children by the way. So anyway, so guess who's doing the wedding invitations? This girl here. And I'm hoping that one of the um, mail that I have to open is something else that I'm waiting for her wedding invitations. But okay, so she's getting married in January. I need to have the wedding invitations like done and in her hands by like the third week in November at the latest. So, of course, she has my um, my Color Swatch book of all the recollections um, card stocks that I made a while back. And she picked a color, and I was like, great, I'm at Michael's. I'm going to check and see because they had their paper pack sale. And, of course, they're completely out of the one pack that has the color that she wants, naturally. I've convinced her, however, since that conversation by a text this morning to go with another color, a dark purple color that I have tons and tons and tons already at home. But while I was at Michael's, uh, they're having the three for 10 on their paper sale. I loved this, this bright light orange color. And that's what kind of inspired me to, to pick this one up. So um, I got citrus and I got a package of primary because you always use it. I didn't realize that it was crinkly in the corner, but oh well. And of course, Oops, it's buried. I don't know how it got separated from the other ones, but... And then my one of my favorite color mixes ever from Recollections is the Spice Market. These are all beautiful fall colors, and um, I use a lot of these five in particular this time of year because I sell a lot of uh, maple leaf confetti in all five of these colors. Uh, and I actually just sold... $20 worth more of confetti uh, this morning that I have to make later today. That's one of the projects that I'll be working on later today. So it's like, you know what, while I'm here, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna grab a refill because um, this, the city where Michael's is, it's like a 35 minute drive. So I mean, it, it's doable and it's not that big of a deal. But if I can get something while I'm in town, then perfect. I'd like to, I'd like to do that. Okay, so moving on. Um, this washi tape from Martha Stewart. Um, I need more Halloween washi tape like I need a hole in the head. I picked some up last week on clearance. I've already put it away with some of the other stuff from Joann's that I showed you from earlier. Um, some of this, though, didn't look super Halloween-y. Like, I could use it whenever. It's got kind of this nice um, bright copper and the glitter. So some of it's not too Halloween-y. But, you know, you can't really, at that price, you can't really, you can't really say no. I think this one was $1.99. On clearance now I can't find it oh no I'm sorry it was $2.99 on clearance Martha Stewart washi tape so there's no way on earth I would ever pay full price for washi tape ever okay and I think we're down to the last two things and these are things that I saw um, last week when we were at um, Michael's and I decided not to um, we've got some just embossed solids of Recollections cardstock, which is really nice. Not something I would normally pick up because I can emboss myself with embossing folders, but $19.99, um, 80% off. This was $3.99 on clearance. And, all right, for $3.99 for all of these papers that are already, the work is already done with embossing, 
Perfect. And then along that same vein was this pack of paper, Dead End Breakfast, uh, which is an amusing name. I think this is also a Recollections brand. Yeah. Halloween papers, um, which was something that I've seen previously um, at Michael's. Again, I was not going to pay $19.99 for it, so I was super, super pleased to see both of these sitting right on the clearance rack. These were the only two papers. They were sitting right on the clearance rack looking at me when I walked in this morning, and I was like, oh, this is completely my day. So I think that's it. I just got um, some coupons in the bottom of the bag here. A three-day sale only from November 9th to the 11th. 20% off the entire purchase, including sale items. I'll hang on to that. I don't know what I'm going to Michael's again, but worst case scenario is I have to recycle the piece of paper because I don't go. So that's it for my exciting um, Michael's haul. I don't really, um, I didn't really take the time to look anywhere else in any other department of the store. It seemed to me that in my particular Michael's anyway, except for this one thing that I found crammed in where it didn't belong, whether or not that was intentional, I don't know. It seemed to me like the staff had done a really good, a good job of purging the Halloween out of the entire store and had it in just three different, um, uh, areas at the front of the store um, had everything so I didn't really take the time to scoot over and I don't really need anything else so so I didn't really look at anything else I, I needed all of this stuff like I needed a hole in the head anyway um, I used my 50% off coupon off one item and the I think the only full price things that I bought were the Christmas stickers so I got 50 cents off Woo, 50 cents off uh, my Christmas stickers I spent 44.55 on all of this um, money which could have gone into our pro propane tank <laughs> uh, and been much better um, but I guess uh, I guess I'll, I'll get over it a lot of good stuff to pack away for happy meals and for projects for next year so um, I thank you for your kind attention again this is part one um, part two I'm going to open up some uh, some mail uh, that I received I just got it yesterday but it's been being held at the post office um, because of the storm's deep uh, the postal carrier, carrier hasn't been able to access our house or our mailbox. So. so I'll open that in the next video and I'll show off some of my current projects. Uh, thanks again. And I'm going to put some of this stuff away and I'll be back in a little bit. Take care.